have been craving a good chicken fried steak for a long time. And I can't remember the last time I made it from scratch. So I looked up the recipe online for the Pioneer Woman's chicken fried steak. And I'm doing things a little bit differently than her recipe, but it was a good starting place to be able to know what to do. I bought four cube steaks. I put a couple of tablespoons of flour onto a plate. Actually, it was probably more like four tablespoons. It was just two really big heaping spoonfuls. Then I added some garlic powder and paprika and salt and then mixed them all together really well. Then I poured some panko breadcrumbs onto another plate. I added some milk to a bowl. Now the pioneer woman adds an egg and beats it up well to the milk. So it's kind of like an egg wash, but I am leaving the egg out in this. I seasoned the cube steak with salt and pepper on one side and then turned it over and seasoned the other side. Now the steak is a little discolored on the, the parts where it was touching the other piece that was in the package, but it's perfectly fine. I smelled it, it's still fresh. I had just bought it not too long before from the store, so it's not old, it's just what happens. Next, the cube steak goes into the flour and I coat it really well and shake off the excess. And then I'm going to dip it into my bowl of milk. Then coat both sides with the panko or regular breadcrumbs if you'd rather. Pressing the breadcrumbs into the steak really well. I heated some oil in a fry pan on the medium setting um, and you can test that by putting a few breadcrumbs or some flour in to see if it starts to sizzle a little bit then you know that it's hot enough. Don't ever put something that you're frying into cold oil or it will just soak up all the grease. And you may have noticed that there were a few specks of chili powder in that oil. I used the same oil that I had used to fry my tortilla strips in so that I wouldn't waste it. I've turned the steaks once and I'm just waiting for them to get um, more golden on the other side now. I have a packaged country gravy mix that I'm going to make up to go with this. They are looking golden and crunchy and beautiful and so I take them out of the fry pan and put them onto a plate that I've lined with paper towels. This was enough meat to serve four people and it cost around $10. But I think you could do it for cheaper if you found a better sale on the meat than I did. If you were going to go out for a chicken fried steak meal at a restaurant, it would cost you a lot more than that. So it's a pretty good deal to make it yourself at home. While I'm frying up the second batch, I put the first batch into the oven on the warm setting. Mm -hmm. 
This country gravy is so easy and delicious. We had our chicken fried steak or country fried steak with a green salad this night. It would also be delicious with mashed potatoes or fried potatoes or rice, whatever you'd like. This turned out to be everything I wanted it to be. Crunchy and flavorful and the steak was tender. It was truly a delicious meal. I added some of the gravy on top to serve it and it was perfection. I'll leave the recipe in the description box and you can check out the Pioneer Woman's recipe if you'd like. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.